All right, Shalom. And giving all praise and glory and honors unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua, by Hashem Kakudash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessed to the whole of the elect. This is Preacher Zion with another edition of GMS News and Prophecy. And I have an article here from the Times of Israel. Dot com. This is from uh, February 2nd, 2021, the year of uh, hastening of the coming of our Lord. And it says, Minister, U.S. will never attack Iran's nuclear facilities. Israel may act alone. Uh, Zaki Hanegbi says Israeli leaders will be forced to choose between accepting a nuclear armed Tehran and, independent, and independently taking action. All right. Uh, and the reason why I'm, I'm doing a video on this article is um, this is this, this is um, pertinent to what the Bible prophecy says about the least of the flock of Esau drawing out Babylon into uh, the war of Armageddon. All right. Um, and in fact, let me go ahead and get the scripture. All right. Let's see. Least of the flock. All right, Jeremiah, I want to get Babylon. All right, so this is Jeremiah. Jeremiah. Now, it's two scriptures, uh, but they're different in a way that they're key. Let me get Jeremiah 50 and 45 first. It says, Therefore, hear ye the counsel of the Lord that he hath taken against Babylon. And his purposes that he had purposed against the land of the Chaldeans. All right. So the Lord is against Babylon. We should understand that the Babylon that this is talking about is uh, Babylon the Great, which is the United States of America. All right. It says, surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. Surely he shall make their habitation desolate with them. Now, what does this mean? This means that the least of the flock or the people of Edom alright which the least of the people of Edom uh, are the so called Jews alright uh, 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 is Amalek okay the least of Edom is Amalek and they're going to be drawn out or they're going to draw out uh, the US into war alright or Babylon into war okay now let me go back to Jeremiah 4 9 and 20 it says, therefore, hear the counsel of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, that he had taken against Edom. Same thing, because Edom and Babylon are synonymous because Edom was going to rule over Babylon the Great in the latter days. And that's the point where we're at now in history. Okay? It says, in his purposes, that he had purpose against the inhabitants of Teman, which Teman was a city in the land of, Eman, uh, of Edom. All right? It says, surely the least of the flocks or the least of the people of, of Esau or Edom shall draw them out. Surely he shall make their habitations desolate with them. And what does that mean? The habitations of the Edomites are going to be destroyed in this uh, uh, last world war, World War Three, or the War of Armageddon. Okay. Now, this article. All right. This article. Is pretty much alluding to the fact that uh, Israel could draw out the U.S. into a war because they're they're very close allies. So let me read this. It says, uh, Energy Minister Yuval Steinitz says Iran is not weeks away from the bomb. If they do everything to break out, it will be half a year. In terms of nuclear weapons, they are a year or two away. Stanitz tells the, the uh, Khan public broadcaster. The Likud minister also says Trump's exit from the nuclear deal weakened Iran or Iran. Uh, Stanitz's comments come after U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken said Sunday that Iran was currently months away from being able to produce enough material to build a nuclear weapon. And he said the time frame could be reduced to a matter of weeks if Tehran further violates restrictions it agreed to under the 2015 nuclear deal with world powers. Now, we know that underneath Trump, uh, the U.S. had pulled out of that nuclear deal. And ever since then, uh, Iran has continued to uh, enrich uranium and also um, do deals uh, through military weapons with um, 
with uh, uh, Russia, which are also Edomites, all right? The Russians are Edomites, so these habitations are going to be destroyed because now where, um, where Iran is, I'm sorry, where Israel is, um, where is uh, in the land of Israel, excuse me, these uh, the people of uh, Amalek, um, they're in the land of Israel, and that land is going to be destroyed, okay? Th that land is going to be taken out and destroyed, and it's going to have to be rebuilt. So let's go into Ezekiel. Chapter 38, Ezekiel 38, and I want to read verse 5. It says, Persia. Persia is the ancient name for Iran. Now, now this is going to the prophecy, the prophecy of Gog and Magog uh, being allied to these countries in the last days, which would be Russia, Iran, Ethiopia, it says, and Libya with them. It says, all of them with shield and helmet, Gomer and all his bands, the house of Togoma of the north quarters and all his bands, which goes into Turkey, and many people with thee. And we see all these countries today that these scriptures are mentioned are being allied together over there in the Middle East. Verse 7, be thou prepared and prepare for thyself, thou and all thy company that are assembled unto thee, and be thou a guard unto them. And they are being guarded, these countries like Iran, um, uh, Syria, Turkey, all right, and also even China are being guarded by um, by Russia, okay? They're shipping different military weapons back and forth, okay? And um, it's going to be a, uh, it's going to eventually lead to a war in that region. Verse 8 is the point. It says, after many days thou shalt be visited, in the latter years, thou shalt come into the land that is brought back from the sword. That land is talking about the land of Israel. Because Israel is going to be uh, um, hit with nuclear fire by the missiles. But it's going to be brought back. It says, and it's gathered out of many people against the mountains of Israel. It's talking about the land which have been always waste. But it is brought forth out of the nations and they shall dwell safely, all of them. And the Israelites are going to go back into that land. But that land is first going to have to be destroyed by the sword. So this is uh, key in prophecy right here. Um, it doesn't go into too much. There's different. Um, let's see here. There's different points made. There's different points made in this uh, particular article here. But up here, it basically goes into how. Uh, right, because these are live updates. It says close, but if Israel is able to, um, if Israel doesn't get direct support from the the U.S., then they could actually act alone, and that'll be a strike against Iran, and uh, through through uh, being allies, the U.S. would have to back Israel up, you know. But we'll see what happens, you know. Uh, but this is key for pro something's going to happen to where Israel and the U.S. get drawn in the war between uh, Iran and uh, Russia. Okay, and that prophecy is, is is going to come to pass soon. And this is just more fuel to the fire, right? But this was just real quick. I hope this was edifying. I want to give all praise, glory, and honors unto Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rakhodash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom.